Hey everyone, Johnny Struggles here. We got the last Starship Alpha 2. This is part 2 to our Stick Fighter video. This is going to be a Stick Fighter carrier build. I had a lot of fun on this one. Uh, the first part of the video is going to be building the Stick Fighter carrier and loading it up with a bunch of Stick Fighters. And then at the end of the video will be the combat action, which I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun the whole thing, but the, at the end it was really cool. It's really cool at the end putting in action to get some com in some combat. Seeing what to do, so if you're not so interested in the build part, jump to the end of the video. Check out the action there. And don't forget, click that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate it. Everyone who has subscribed, I thank you very much. And let's jump into the video. Let's uh, create a mode. Let's load up our stick fighter. Okay, we got the uh, Callisto star base. I also made that. It's pretty neat. Again, fighters are there. Invisible fighters. They're cloaked. Okay, back to here. Let's go to editor. Let's create a ship. I want to make a bigger ship that I can dock to. And I don't really have a design in mind. Let's say the rear of the ship has several engines across the back, so that would be enough for right there for like six, well, eight actually, technically. Eight engines. And the docking port is on the side of this thing, so the question is should the ship face out to the side or should it face forward? The questions, the important questions. I get more of these stacked sideways, but the docking port sticks so far out. I mean, you lose a lot of space either way. And as much as it sticks out, you might as well have these things facing forward. Let's do this. We'll have a narrow neck of this ship here. And go over the top. So three squares, make it even though. It'll be the front of the ship. we got to make it a little round, you know, for everybody out there. For the giggles. All right. Um, I can't leave it like that. I gotta do a little more. Just bear with me. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this yet. Can't run a mouse, can't use a mouse. I think this will be good enough like this. We'll fill in the rest of the squares. I do love... I'll just do make it even like that. I do love the symmetry tool. Makes a huge difference. A lot easier. Literally cuts my time in half. Okay, we'll confirm that. Go ahead and place the floor. Bloop! That's nice. Uh, I might need to make this a little longer, actually. I'm going to do like this. Confirm floors. Alright. So let's spawn a few engines in here. So I need to make the hull one square wider on each end to put like eight engines across this. Or I can do a dead center and... Uh, I have a little space there. We'll do that. We'll do dead center engine. If I can get in there. Boop. Now we almost need a symmetry tool for equipment you place, like so it mirrors what you place on the opposite side of your ship. Not a big deal, but would be nice. We're gonna have way too many engines on here, but it's all good. I'm on this kick of here of doing this angled design on the engines here, like that. Confirm. And again, it doesn't show the angle in this view, but when you get out of editor, it's there. If I spend some time, I'd probably put a gap, <clears throat> make this angle back down and curve up, make it look pretty. Here we're just going for brute force. Alright, so a bunch of engines. Now docking bays. If I have these sticking out, I think I want them going forward. But how do I actually want to set it up? So let me jump to the other stick fighter. Let me fly over here for me. Get some uh, measurements. He's a fast guy. Is he just going to shoot by us? Or is he going to circle around because he overshot it? Yeah. If I bid four thrusters on this, it'd be <laughs> pretty much uncontrollable. But it'd go really fast on thrusters only. I have made shifts that only ran on thrusters, which are pretty neat. 
but they uh, you know use a little more power than the engines do. You, you can go as fast as engines, but you need more thrusters, which uses more power. Engines better bang for your buck power-wise. Here's looking at strictly energy consumption. It's be something like that. So I have a docking port here. They would connect. I have one on the other side connect, and I can do 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 down the line. We can probably get two, three, four of them here, maybe, maybe. So we go back to our yeah, our new ship. Call us something like a uh, stick fighter carrier. Let's go ahead and rename it. Probably not stick fighter carrier, but we'll just call it heavy fighter carrier. Because the uh, little tiny fighters are normal fighters, and we call this one. I didn't hit enter, damn it. That's one thing I always forget. Press enter to save it. Don't click out. And you can't hold the backspace key down. Delete that. You gotta press it each time. Uh, heavy fighter carrier. Enter. All right. Editor, we want a docking port. And this looks like a good spot for it. Good as any. Gives us a little room on the back. At least for this ship. Okay, if we jump back to our stick fighter. Well, can we dock with that other ship not powered up or anything? Yeah, okay, cool. So we just align the blinky lights. <laughs> See how far it sticks away from the docking port to uh, dock? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Bounce around. And we're hooked in. All right. Let's see how far that is. If I turn the ship 90 degrees, and the docking port would have to stick out that far. And you take about just as much space. So I think you get more ships in this way. All right, so let's um, press escape. We will import a friendly stick fighter. Import friendly. I love that they have import friendly now. It's very nice. It saves me a lot of trouble doing some save file edits and screwing around a little differently. Okay. Can we go over here, please? Third stick fighter. Maybe we only get three of these in a row. We'll see here real quick. Oh, wait, do we have another one? Down here. Yep, I thought was so. I put the stopping point farther away so they don't all overshoot. Yeah, he's coming back. Too far, too fast, too soon. Okay, let's ro oh, wrong rotate, rotate around. We're gonna use this ship as our guide to design the carrier. Oh, I just thought of something. What if I did this? So, so things to get, I can put more ships in if I kind of overlap some stuff, make a little channel in the middle. Yeah, 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 let's do that. You guys will see in a second what I'm talking about. Put him like this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There. Don't touch it. Yeah, like that. So then we go to the heavy fighter carrier. And we do... Oh, we need this much space. So we need to like put a docking port right about here. Give or take. Oh, we will say we need six squares wide for the docking port. So the tunnel, well, the tunnel can be narrower and widen out at the end. Let's see right here. We got four squares, five, six, seven, eight. So it expands eight. For one, two, it can be a little closer too. We can say right here. Eight, so the docking port needs to be here. There's six. And then we can angle that. We need two squares in. Oh, yeah, two squares in after the docking port. And then we can come back in. I'm liking that. Like a water tower. Confirm. Let's get some floor in there. Put some fresh carpet in there. All right. Spawn some more docking ports. So we rotate the right direction. Uh, what is wrong with you? Oh, I have an interior piece. I'm not far enough out. Oh, I always forget it. The docking port takes up one square inside, then you need two squares after that. So you need three interior squares for that to work. Let's go ahead and place them since I have them selected, and then we'll edit the hole. We need to go one more square out. Then go back in. Oop, wrong one. 
And there we go. Confirm. Back to floors. And then stop, stop yelling at us. Confirm. All right. Happy, happy day. Any stick fighter. Whichever one's that. Was it this guy? No, it was the last one. It was the last one. All right. Tacticals. Yeah, we are pretty close. Oh, a little tap, tap, little tap, tap. I think we can get the docking port farther in. Yeah. That gives us plenty of room, actually, between the ships. This might be better. Leave it out like that. Right. Let's do this out. Let's build it out. Put a bunch of ships on it. Then we'll build out the stick fighter carrier. Okay, so now we need the next one to line up here and put the next docking port and do the same thing. Once I have the next one put in, I can use this measurement here to build the rest of it out. Okay. The cool thing is, on this view, you can use the thrusters either way. You just press the thruster keys, the. to maneuver around like you normally do. You just don't have to be on a tactical screen to do it. Okay. Rotate. Rotate back. Stop pressing the keys. Right about, say, there. We don't want to get too tight into here. Okay, stop testing some stuff. Alright, back to the heavy fighter carrier. That's pretty neat. Docking port. So what do we have? We are 4, 8, uh, 11 squares away from these two here. So here. That looks good. Rotate that around. I'm just going to assume this will be fine. have to tuck in a little bit more to connect. He's a little too far out. <clears throat> but since we're here, so from the docking port, we have 11 squares. So I guess counting this, 4, 8, 12. To here, 4, 8, 12, yeah. And that gets us to the angle of the neck. 1, 2. Yeah, right there, 1, 2. No, just 1. Yep, that's right, because it's wide. Out. One, two. All right, and then fill it in. Bloop, and a bloop. A bleep, bloop, bloop. Floor, some more. We'll put some linoleum in here. Bad jokes all day long. Spa, docking port. This is looking pretty neat. And then we can have another one down here. So it's 4, 8, 12, 16. This way, 4, 8, 12, 16. And docking port there. Oh, wait, cancel. There, because the angle is on 16. And then back to the hole. 4, 8, 12. Hopefully I'm not messing this up. One in, one in. Boop, boop, square. And confirm. So then there's no room up front for anything like but docking ports right here. And put them right here. Anyway, we'll leave it like this. Alright. And then floors. Some sheet vinyl. And docking bay port. Docking bay, docking port. I like these hallways because they're just wide enough to put a door in so you can... Isolate them. Okay. <laughs> we have tons of room. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can hold twelve heavy fighters. This thing would be defi a definite nuisance. The main ship here. It has no guns on it. Maybe it's a couple Gatling guns. I can put a couple Gatling guns, a few thrusters on it. But its main purpose is to carry supplies for the fighters it supports. So we'll see. I might make it a little bigger to handle it. What's going to be interesting is these docking ports are not static. They're flexible a little bit, so these guys like dangle back when they turn on. But since they're so light and fast, I wonder if the engines will push it forward and angle it in. But anyway, uh, where is it? Back to Stick Fighter. Wait, is this guy here? Let's get rid of the editor. Yeah, we need to dock him the rest of the way. Let's see if I can do it without looking. There we go. Nice, we're locked in. We're close enough, so that was pretty easy. And then this guy way out here. I am going to use tactical menu for this one. Rotate him around. 
Whoa! Thunk. Broke the paint on that one. Broke the paint. Chipped the paint on that one. Scuffed it up. Alright, this one looks a little closer to the one behind it. So maybe it has messed up the angles a little bit, but... It's hard to tell. It's the wrong button. Pay attention to what you're doing. Stop pressing that button. I like the alignment of the squares. You can have one line. I think this is actually a little more forgiving because you can be angled off quite a bit. Be lined up. All right. So now we need the four fighters. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. So let's do that. Eight more. Import friendly. One, two, two stick fighters. Ah ah ah. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stick fighters. Ah, ah, ah. All right. I'm gonna float around. Why is the cursor over here? Did I make this guy so off center? The uh, that's probably what it is. I made this stick fighter off the back of the center of the design mode. So now, what the heck? So now. And something pop up my screen. So now everything's a little bit off of that. So there's rotation, everything's probably off. That might be why I'm having. Yeah, I'm gonna blame that. That's why I'm having a problem docking. You at, buddy? I think in our, our, oh my gosh, stuck on the camera there. Our heavy fighter carrier is looking pretty neat. A little town. Let's stop tracking. There we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's cool. These pods sticking out, stick out about the same amount as back of the back of the ship. So that's fine. So we just need enough power for these engines and a couple thrusters. Not much. Okay. It's a bit different not changing the angle with the shuttle. Because my orientation is screwed up now. As far as visual orientation, it's all sideways. And look how good I did. Man, I should have docked with a weird angle like that every time. Bam, bam, done. Okay, cool deal. Heavy fighter carrier. Let's uh, do this. And get a tactical. So we need to build this out. We need a couple reactors. Spawn. I can't have much power each engine uses with full throttle, like 40 megawatts, maybe something like 44 megawatts. So every two engines, we need a reactor, and that'll give us a little bonus. So we need three. We'll need to use four reactors. And we have enough room to stick them in here in the back. Uh, that's at the top. And we're not concerned about combat or anything, so I'm just going to 
Use this to. Two. Three, four. We'll stick some batteries on either side of them. Here, should we put another reactor on either end? I don't know. I'm big about having way too much power. I hate running out. I'll do like that. One, two. We'll overpower the ship. We'll put two more reactors in. This engine room is stacked. Okay, and then. No. We'll line this with a couple more batteries. There's a few more. Be the battery room in the back. Okay. And then medium tanks for fuel. That'll be uh, some in the middle here. One, two, three. Actually, we probably could use a huge tank. I have wasted space. Let's stick with medium ones. Okay, this will be fuel. We might need more. We got this whole hallway here to use. Should I just do them like this down the hallway instead? Maybe one, two, three, four, five, and take up more room. The six get in there more compact. Okay, we'll start off with this and see how things look. So let's go ahead and do some. Actually, what I want to do is fill in some walls because I have rooms in my head. Already figured out, sort of. And just be tied back here, a single little <clears throat> one square hallway. But we'll enclose this here, so this will be like a uh, what do we call it? Airlock. We're gonna put doors here, any side of those. So I think that would be neat. And then same in the front. Where the bridge is, firm, cool. There'll be a door back here as well. And like tight engine compartment. All right, let's connect some pipage and some cables. Probably doing a little over the top. Let's go. Run the fuel line down this side. And yeah, we can run these across instead of going down the ship. Cobblaze. We have thrusters in the back. I'll go ahead and put this all the way up and down. And let's go ahead and install two thrusters on either side. I think we can. Looks like we got room for six squares, six tiles. I mean, I can put the thruster like here as well. One, two, three. That'll be even better. We got the extra power. We can utilize that. Help this thing turn. Going back to the cables. Okay, so we got this engine bay done. We need fuel loaders. We're going to do two loader. Well, what do we do? We got room to put four in here. We go and get the pipe in. That's all we kill, but uh... okay. So we got fuel. Reactors, batteries, we have energy's done, loader's done. I'll we'll have to put the life support in here at some point. Probably right here, I mean, it's the next section, maybe. So this ship actually needs a docking board of its own for... If we have everybody connected, we need to have the docking board just for it to connect to something. To load its own supplies, probably on the front. We say this is a neutral, not a neutral ship, but... Uh, not a combat vessel. We can put a docking bay in the front. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Let's move on either side up here. So I was seriously thinking about putting one more on either side up here and put another launcher on here. As it's right here, it'll tuck in the ship a little bit from the front. Make an old 12. But any thrusters in the front, I mean, I can put them on the neck here to turn. And we'll think about it. But for now, right now, we'll do that. So doors, let me put a bunch of doors in. Blue blue blop. All those flashing lights. Put that there. I don't like doing the door opening into a single square because it sticks out when it opens up. It sticks it out to the wall. Yeah, it doesn't look the best. We'll do this. We'll do this as fuel storage in here a little bit. Fuel cargo area. These are one, two, three, four, five across. I think we can only put one thruster here anyway. I think we're going to do this. We're going to cut this short. We're going to do walls across here. Yep, yep, yep. Confirm and destroy. Outside layer. Confirm. Spawn some thrustage. I went past it. I just went the wrong direction. I didn't go past it. I mean, I could just put these in the neck here. That would make more sense to stick them down here. But we're going to put them in the nose. One square part. And the bridge. So in cargo area. I mean, I should put fuel loaders here. And then it would load up. Instead of having the crew walk all the way across the ship to load fuel up here. Kind of big on that. Putting the loaders close to where the ship actually loads and unloads. Uh, we're going to need an FTL drive somewhere before I forget, because I'm really good about forgetting the FTL drive. Right in the middle of the room, right in the middle of the bridge. Put him right here, because there's actually three squares there. No FTL charges, of course. Um, I'm wondering, should we have drone bays in this thing to repair fighters when they come back? That makes sense, wouldn't it? Or maybe we have a specialized ship that does repairs, just a drone ship. And this one can have minimal crew and carry all these fighters. I don't know. Which, what we're going to need is a habitation deck for this as well, and all the sewage and everything. So life support's going to go in here in this section. I think, let's go there right now. Habitation. Let's say, can I put on the very outside edge? No, you got to go one in. Yeah, I wish it would tell you how much heaven space you give before you build it. Again, I have no idea what, how much cabin space is until I spawn a ladder to connect it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, another future update would be nice if you can type in the, something to search for your item. Okay. Crew capacity 21. That's not bad. Might leave it at that. It might make it bigger. So think about if we had to hold one person for each of these ships. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need 12 people for each of the ships. We'd have, what would that be, 9 crew left over to man this thing? That'd be plenty. So, 21 capacity sounds good. Let's do this. We need whole life support suite. So, let's go ahead and put that stuff in this section here. Alright, let's do waste management first. Switch pipe across from the ladder, because, you know, for... Water purifier. Oxygen make it happener. And we're going to do a couple of medium tanks for oxygen load. Three tanks for extra oxygen. And we're going to do an air duct right here. Okay, CO2 scrubbage. Put the scrubber here. Actually, what's the air reprocessor? Where's the port on it? Because i got to put it a certain way. Okay, so I want CO2 at the bottom on the scribbage. Doesn't really matter. It's being silly. A little alignment. Oop. 
And then I'm just going to pipe that right into here. Mm, so... Let's connect it up. There's more? Yeah, I actually need to do more. I need to put the spacesuit pod. And what else do I need? A oxygen loader as well. I should put a sweet pipe up one. Okay, anyway. That's connected. Let's get a uh, power line to the front of the ship. Ran. Let's go off the side here with the battery. And yeah, we'll let you put anything off the ship. Okay, things connected there. But yeah, I need an oxygen loader and a spacesuit pod. Again, I wish this would... I can't rotate it. I want it to point the other direction. So do a normal loader. And we'll do the spacesuit pod right next to it. And back to pipes. Okay. That's cool. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. We have plenty of space for cargo and everything. All right, uh, editor, spawn some fuel. I'll spawn a bunch of it back here. I'll spawn a little bit of oxygen. Wait, one, two, I think three bottles might be enough for this ship. It's kind of big though. Maybe that'll work. Uh, food and water. I think all those, hopefully all these ships had food and water. I think I put one of each item in there. Well, it's kind of loose. One, two, three, four. Oh, I gotta get the charge. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll give ourselves six crew. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then FTL charges. We need some of those. I'm not setting up any storage place for now. I mean, I'm not even doing FTL jump, but. Come on, come on guy. Go hop in your suit, buddy. Come on, guy. Stop holding your breath. What? There we go. Okay, let's see here. Park out a little battery. Let me get these fuel cells loaded, or fuel cells, fuel canisters loaded. I want to turn these engines on and see these things sway. Actually, I'm going to do this. Escape, export, ship, create new, heavy fighter carrier. Okay, we're powering up. Engines are coming online. Boom! There's the reactors, engines are fueled up and online, powering up. A little farther away so it's not so loud. Systems are coming online. Can't see the air duct is spinning. That's working. We're getting air into the section. It'll spread out through the doors. Take a bit. It'll take a while to go all the way down there. I should put another air duct back here and run a pipe to it. Let's do that. Uh, da -da -da, spawn air duct. Where is an air duct? By the time I get this figured out, it'll already be uh, there. Let's put it right here. Actually, we'll get the next one around. Pipe. Okay, so it'll start filling this room up quicker. Yeah, it's catching up. The front's about full. It is neat that this works. I mean, I could put another air duct back in the back of the ship as well. But probably not worth it. There's not really much room back there. I'd have to move something around. Okay, we have things in place. We got oxygen, it's filling up the ship. 
What the, that's so ridiculous. The thing is, you can park other ships on this, so I could park other stick fighters to the stick fighters to the main ship. Another cool thing is when you... Let's turn off the atmosphere. When you turn on the main engines of this ship, all these other ships' engines should come on as well, so we could, this thing should probably go pretty fast. I'm excited to see this. I, I need to uh, save this game. I guess I screw something up. I, just, I don't want to re park everybody on a re save. Redock everybody on the ship. Okay, so we'll start with like, a bit of thrusting, and everything, everyone's thrusters should turn, turn on. I see our evasion. Do we get any evasion? Because I'm not sure our evasion. Well, that's pretty fast. We went forward. There's our velocity and our evasion. Just thrusters alone, we get our evasion pretty high. Rotating. Okay. Now the real test. How fast can we go? I don't want to see the sway of these guys. And... Go. Oh, they're leaning back. Oh my goodness, this looks cool though. It looks like these docking ports are going to break. It's a little too loud. Let's try to turn the audio down. But look at that velocity, 77. This thing can get in fast, so I'm going to press this detach all button. Look at that! Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Is that docking port going to retract, or are they just going to stick out there? Our velocity only went down a little bit. That's why I wanted to save it. Okay, they are retracting. Slowly. But if we were going to fight some bad guys, I mean, this would be the way to do it. Fly at them. Launch all these ships, and they take out a star base, or at least fight one. Of course, if you, these were AI controlled, it'd be even better. But now I got to manage all these ships, which would be a pain in the butt. But that was so neat, so so cool, totally worth it. Let's uh, abandon game and reload our save. I think I saved it. Only I'm curious. I seen a guy do this. He put scaffolding on these to keep them from swaying so much. So let's, like on the back here, I did that, confirm. I want to see if this back one angles back as much as the rest did. No, no, that didn't matter. Thrust, line, okay, now we got everything aligned, docking port's great. Can we, yeah, we have to destroy those. I didn't think that would work. Well, you never know. Uh, scaffold. Let's just do something like that. Right into it. Confirm. And thrust. Nope. No difference. Okay. At least that's to Let's... A little some learning there. Okay, destroy. Let's get rid of all that. Don't destroy the actual ship, though. I don't know. This thing would be a real pain in the butt if it came after you. I mean, one, two... We have 12 fighters, each with two cannons on it. So there's 24 cannons pointing at you at high speed. And the idea of these little things is to go fast so it's hard to hit them. So they just strike you and fly past you, turn around and come back and strike you again. Just strafing runs. I may design this a little bit different with this being curved in the back, but, ah, man, this thing's so fast. Does all the ships tie into it? I just want to see it again. I mean, honestly, I don't think these should be swaying back because these, on their own, are faster. They should be pulling it harder. So we turn on the thrusters as well. Okay, our velocity is 77, so we turn on the thrusters. Four thrust, emergency power. And we went from 77 to 95, 90, 96. That's almost 20 more velocity. That's crazy. Let's do a U-turn. Emergency corner. My evasion's over under. Look at that stretch. Those docking ports. Oh, now they're going crazy. <laughs> These are engines. Might have screwed up a little bit. Let's go like that. Let's 
manually override some of the thrust here. No. That's crazy. It's all out of balance. It looks like the ship is fighting the fighters. Like the fighters are in sync. And he's doing the opposite. Like when this lights, this lights push away. Yeah, all the fighters are going back and forth, back and forth. And it's the opposite sequence as the main fighter, the, the carrier. That's so neat. We need, okay, we need to fight a bad guy. We're gonna do horrible at it, but... Um... Let's see. Escape. Who do we want to import? Should we just do the hostile armored beast the one I pick on since the beginning of time? Armored beast. Okay, he's way over there. Let's point at him. We have enough room to accelerate to him. Orders weapons are active by default now. He's turning. He sees us. Velocity's up there. Get a little closer. Starbase is saying hello. And detach. My main ship is going to break away because F that noise. I just want to see what these fighters do to it. Holy crap, 21% damage on one run through. That's crazy. Yeah. But now you got to collect them all one by one. Bloop. Run slow mo. This part takes a minute. You turn, we're about to get them all again to then readjust their angle. And whoever's behind the alert, I'm not going to be able to grab. No, oh, real gun rounds incoming. I should have went a little farther out before trying to turn, but their evasion is over 100. And that far away, less likely to be hit. That sucks, I'm not going to grab all these guys. Future improvement. You can select the alert. So if you click on this alert, you can jump to a hostile. Right click on it and cancel it? No. Hey, you know there's an enemy ship. Okay. Lower the volume a bit more. I don't know how loud this is for everybody, but... Turn it down a little bit. Okay, it's still fire. Yeah. Boop. So these guys are going to come in one at a time now, so it'll be a little bit easier for him to shoot at them. i got to keep this on slow a little bit, because it takes too long to do this. But this is insane. Oh, power cut. Somebody took a direct hit. Stick fighter, yeah. He... Low fuel. Who's got low fuel? Hopefully it's not one of these little fighters that are not giving enough gas. On the, uh, thing. Who's got low fuel? Did somebody take a fuel hit? Oh. Yeah, he took a fuel hit. Here. Yeah, oh, the fuel tank took a hit. Oh my goodness. He's venting all his fuel, and he's going to be dead in the water. That's cool. So we're going slow motion here. Ships are coming in. Thankfully, the cannons can shoot at a good angle. Come on, hit him. That's a good hit. Even better if I told him to shoot the same spot on each one. Five percent damage. That poor guy is dead in the water. He's out of fuel. You cancel these alerts. Oh, don't go there. Over here. Let's speed up a little bit. Oh, they're just taking them apart. Is he not fire here at the end? It 
39% damage. I bet two more rounds and you would have, you'd be out. Let's get a little farther away, but they're all spread out now. A heavy fighter carrier. He needs to hit the brake. That was pretty cool. Come in, launch him and fly away. I could have done it earlier so I didn't take the real gun hits. You can just park out there. Okay, stick fighters. Everybody's everywhere now. Yeah, we're way out of real gun range. Does once, speed it up after everyone turns around. He's out of gas. Out of range. Oh, he got in the back there. Don't get hit. Oh, how did he get hit? He's going so fast. Does the engine take damage there? And everyone's spread out. We're good. That's why I need fleet commands. I need to be able to... Can I shift click these? No, I sure can't. I need fleet commands or be able to select multiple ships to give them the same order to, like, you know, movements. I'm sure it'll come in due time. No concerns there. I'm having too much fun with the docking port thing. This is awesome. Okay. So keep on clicking on that guy. He's... Can't get to anyone else. Alright. Can you hit the down arrow? No, no. And how do I get this guy right here? Come on, turn around, man. Okay, his normal speed a little bit. We got our fighters turning back around for another swarm attack. Oh, this will be cool. They're all lined up side by side, so we should be... Oh! Starbase close still helping us out. Oh, this is going to hurt. He's going to get a couple rounds in. Click, 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 click. And get in there. Yeah, this guy couldn't get in because I clicked on the little fuel, I think. Has to bet. So we're one fighter down. Okay, so enemy contact. Look at this. We go to the hostel. No, we don't. Let's do this. Normal speed. All right, let's see the incoming rounds. Shoot them. That is awesome. Hey, turn around. Let the last fighter coming through. Shoot you in the butt. What's he at? Sixty-five percent damage. He's not a happy camper. Okay, yeah, this guy's gonna come right on. Let's put it back on slow. And we'll leave up this guy here. He's gonna take the shots. Yep, yep, okay, so he's distracting everybody. Slow back down, turn around. He's not gonna do any real damage because it's all armored back there unless he shoots out an engine by chance. And he's already wanting to get close enough so he can shoot back with his cannon. Oh, actually, he's out of fuel, so he's, he's about out of power. 6%, 5%, so he can't even shoot his cannon. Wait, yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll be out of electricity. Need power to at least operate the cannon. Not to fire it. He can do me a favor, destroy that ship so I can get rid of some of the stuff off the screen here. Okay, and then normal speed. Is everybody turning around here? Yeah, it looks like it. Power break. Okay, slow down, slow down. These these guys need to realign quickly. Starbase Callisto is gonna take him out before I get the chance. Well, that's not true. We're definitely doing the bulk of the damage here. We're gonna be all over the place when we go through him here. Last one in here. This guy, just turn around. Strafing runs. This guy flying by. What's his damage at now? 92%. One more. We got him. We got him, boys. Just don't run out of fuel, stick fighters. 
Like this just run and gun. Whatever you want to call it. Hit and run. Strafing tactics. He can't he can't do anything about it. He's too slow. These cannons are too powerful. I should say two, but they're very powerful, even just a couple of them. Instead of having one big ship, this is just this would be very difficult. I need to do this against one of my bigger combat ships to see how well it does. These little things have no armor, but they're so maneuverable and fast it's hard to hit them. Like ideally, they could be swerving or something and they would be even harder to hit, but you can't really do that easily. Slow motion. Yeah, I just missed. Power slide. Okay, so these things are starting to turn around now, so I can align them a bit better on the turn. Oh, way out there. He's got a fuel. Point at him anyway. Across the front of him. Ah, this selection. We need this alerts on the other side of the screen. So I can click on the ships over here. Here sure they weren't anticipating this situation here. Oh no, that guy! He's flying right in front of him. Don't do that. Did you shoot at him first? I don't think so. Let's do something dumb. Hard turn. Take a couple hits there. Oof! 94, okay. Normal speed, let's zoom in. Normal speed. We got him. We got him, boys. Yeah. Well, that's too cool. This guy's dead in the water back here. Is that number three? Let's turn this on here. Yeah, we could get the... I wonder if we can get our fighter craft carrier come over here and dock with them as a rescue. Because this guy's just got whatever he's got in his suit. Or air. Because I don't know if the space we pod will work. Anyway. Try one thing real quick. And then we'll reset. It's not bad we lost one. Oh, well, actually we didn't lose any ships. One was disabled. I gotta check how much the stick fighter actually cost value-wise. I just speed up these stick fighters are gonna fly off into oblivion. We're gonna abandon this game once I check this out. Oh, low fuel. Low fuel, okay, everyone's getting to the last thousand points of fuel. So normal game speed there runs out pretty quick with the with the engine there. Okay, so the, say the docking port. Okay, yeah, low fuel on everybody. I might go adjust the ship uh, ship to have more fuel. Okay. Thing is, if we can attach them, then we technically rescue this guy. He's being transferred between the ships. Oh, maybe. How does that work? Because we can only transfer one direction. Maybe we can't save him. Technically. They were locked, docked to him, but if you click on what just happened, what was it? Thrust got locked. That's weird. Okay, uh, logistics. So crew, heavy fighter carrier, stick fighter, uh, crew. No, no, cancel. So that's the thing is I can't tell him to go this direction. It only goes the other direction. So that might be some improvement to be made. Because I want to go from the stick fighter to the heavy carrier. And it's only going the opposite direction. I can't click on this to get anybody. I can click on anyone else to do the removal. I don't know which which thing I'm docked to. It has everybody here. Oh wait, can I change it like that? Is that what I got to do? Oh, okay. But which one's that one though? Okay, so let's do this. We go to the disabled stick fighter. Go to editor, uh, disabled. Okay, escape, logistics. 
Okay, stick fighter to save. Oh yeah, I guess just done that way. Um, does it click on him and then click on the? No, on him and then click on him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. We can do it that way. I didn't know. All right. So a little once you figure it out. Okay. So you select the ship you want the source to come from by clicking on that column, or no, no, by clicking on the top column, and then click on the item you want to change. So we just rescued the guy off the stick fighter. I mean, he's already repaired the fuel tank, I'm sure, editor. I mean, the tank is repaired, so he just needs fuel now, honestly. So let's do this. Let's transfer him back on there. So we do a heavy carrier. There, take him back. Do we have extra fuel on the carrier? We do not. It's probably loaded up on the loaders. So out of curiosity, we need to go back to the heavy fighter carrier and spawn... At least five canisters of fuel. There's just four loaders of so fuel. I'm just going around anyway. Okay. Logistics. And then the disabled fighter carrier fuel. Top. So, canisters should show up any minute now. And the guy walks up here and puts it in here, it should just appear in the docking port. Up here. Let's speed it up. I'm assuming. If I jump back and it's going to appear right at the point. Yep, there it goes. Fuel's in, it appeared, and we're good. This guy's back in business. Oh, 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 his thrust is still on too. Let me stick fighter disable. Yeah, tactical. He's back where he was. He was pushing the big ship. Cool stuff. This is really neat. This really expands the game a lot. Just being able to dock and do things like that. The thing is, I can put these stick fighters that are all about running out of fuel. This guy can go catch them. But um, you can park them on each other. Just daisy chain them out. So, you know, you could have them on top of, you know, stick fighter and stick fighter and stick fighter. Stick them way out in this thing and go fast and launch all of them forward. Anyway. Uh, abandoned game. Uh, load game. Okay. So, last thing. Let's, uh, import hostile. Who do we want to fight? Let's fight something bigger. There's a lot more guns on it. Let's do the Killing Cruiser. Although this design is not working properly with this version of the game. And he's right there. Oh my gosh. That's not going to work. Are we going to get away without getting hit? Nope. Almost. Evasion was good. He's gonna take out that stick fighter here. Now the cannon rounds are pushing him in, he's gone. Okay, so we took let's let's restart let's reset this abandoned game. Little game. Let's move farther away first. Thrust assistance there to get accelerated out. I feel like these docking ports are just gonna snap. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Now we ways out. Import hostile to the cruiser. And where is he at? Alright, good deal. Let's go out of ways. I wanted to give plenty of room to turn and fire. Because he's actually not a slow ship either. For its size. Our turn. Mercy power. Thrusters engaged. Okay. Now we pointed at them. Point at them. Okay. Detach fighters. Fire. Fire. That's <laughs> just so cool. Oh, this guy got hit hard. Slow down. What happened? His engine got disabled. We did 2% damage on the cruiser. It looked a lot worse. That guy, I don't know which one that is. Yeah, I don't think we're doing as much damage to this guy. Okay, this one. Why is he... 
Oh, again, fuel tank. This fuel tank got taken out. Might need to relocate the fuel tank to farther in the back of the ship. On the front, seems to be prone to getting punctured. Gonna do this for a little bit. I don't think we're gonna hold out too well. That, that ship's a lot heavily has a lot more firepower to it and better armor. Get back to the front. Yeah, he's toast. I just screwed up because I had the gap looking at the ship before pointing back here. So all these fighters are a little spread out, which is not ideal. I really need to do a swarm attack to maximize the damage. And I need like a click and drag tool or something to be able to select multiple ships. I can't get the last guy in there. Oh, can I get that guy now? No, it's in here. There we go, all right. We're just gonna swarm up. We're just. Best. Yeah, I don't know. Lots of suggestions. Hang on, let's just turn out. Cancel the order. Starbase is saying hi. This guy back here didn't get around off. That's too bad. Misaligned. Okay, who put the guy in the back there? Might as well get a shot off there. Okay. So. Start from the beginning. Oh, wait, he's. <laughs> yeah, draw him out. Draw the fire out. Let him point the wrong way, and we can shoot his engine. I need to be able to select multiple ships from this menu. At the very least. That'd be a nice update. If you can already do it, I haven't messed with it enough to figure it out. That guy's gonna take a hit. Okay, let's, let's just go f normal speed for a minute. Oh, did somebody just get destroyed? Yep. He got taken up by the railgun rounds. Okay, normal speed. Ooh, fire some cannon rounds at him. Stop following track with the camera. 8% damage. Yeah, we're doing. Oh, look at this. Get him. Yeah, just the guys in the side here. You're gonna fire any shots at him. Okay. Let's turn this fighter carrier off. Okay, we lost the one stick fighter. It's a lot quieter now. Turn off the main ship. I'm really enjoying this. This is a long video, but I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, normal speed. This guy's dead in the water over, isn't he? Probably. Ooh, we got a good run here. We got a good run. Let's turn off tactical. Incoming fighters! Here they should peel off at an angle. Oh, oh. 
this last guy here. Didn't quite get it. Alright. And then... Yeah, angle this way a little bit. One turn, get a shot in there. See if we can get him 10% damage. Oh, he just goes too fast. There we go. Now the back thing blocked the shot in the engines. That's how they should attack like this. Actually, let's just do this. Throttle back. Just do this. There we go. We'll get some up the tailpipe. What are these two guys doing over here? That one stick fighter is going to take him out. He's reloading. That's probably slow this guy down. I forgot I'm not on slow. I'm going way too fast. It's going to be an hour before anyone gets back now. Here's where this guy's going here. Okay, so the last two here. Throttle up. Throttle back. Run the engine bay. Far up there, you're gonna get shot at. Slow down. Where's this guy come from? There we go. We're doing some damage now. Until this guy turns. I mean, computer AI is not the smartest. I mean, or at least combat AI is not the smartest. Because, you know, a normal person would say, hey, let's turn. Instead of getting shot in the butt by all these ships just parked back there. Hey, you gotta take any advantage you can get. Slow back down, alright, throttle back down. These guys go so fast. Oh, he's that's what he's going after. I should not just let him sit there and take it. Actually, go straight. How much damage is he at? He's at 50%. Yeah, we need to move. He's fast, so let's just go full speed out. He's getting destroyed. You can see through the rear end here. Nope. Slow down. We got a little too close to getting some Gatling gun damage. Far out of these guys. Oh, they're it's gonna take a minute for them to come back. The ones I'm using are all behind here. Except for that guy. Wait. If I know, okay, I clicked on the wrong part. You, sir, are way in front. You need to punch it and get out of there. 
Okay. Normal speed for a minute. Can I slow it down again? Too many ships to control. You know, my real advantage is by shooting him in the butt. Yeah, he's a perk. That's 72% damage. Not too much longer. These guys in the back of the hang in there. They have enough ammo. Stop getting so close. Gotta stay out of Gatling gun range and stay within cannon range. Speed up a little bit to get in there. He's good, but he needs to throttle back. He's going just a bit too fast. Come on, mouse. Ninety ninety nine okay he's dead. These guys are way too in front. Eighty percent damage, normal speed. Lost another ship. Did the game just freeze? Oh, I think the game crashed on me. Is my mouse moving or is it just gonna delay a little bit? Let's see, do I have a Crash alert somewhere. You can hear the game still playing, but my screen's frozen. That is a bummer. Let's say the Tokelvian cruiser exploded and took the game with it. <laughs> ah, what a bummer. Alright, I'm gonna take. Can't even. Can't even get out of this. There's a tab screen. No, I don't have any crash bo message box or anything. The game's still moving. I don't know if it's gonna continue or not. It's pretty well stuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in fact, the, on my screen, I was not showing in the video, but it's showing the previous battle of the Hostile Armored Beast now. It's not in the video recording. Alright. Well, hey. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. <laughs> Click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have subscribed, thank you. And we'll catch you on the next one, everybody. Alright. Bye.